Hello YouTube, this is another video from Super Apple Forever. In this video, I'm going to explain how to move applications from uh, one Mac to another without having to, you know, like, use up a serial number or something like that. Okay, so, um, I've already done most of mo of them, but, um, I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. Now, first of all, you're going to want to go to System Preferences. <clears throat> And by the way, I just want to apologize if this video is a little bit uh, sluggish because I am recording this on my iBook G4. And um, I, I don't think it'll be too slow, but um, it might. And I just want to apologize if it is. Um, so you need to turn on file sharing and make sure that's on. And you need to have a Wi-Fi network for this. And uh, it'll, it'll, it'll share everything like that. So um, once you do that... Um, go to uh, the computer that you have your applications on. For instance, I have it on my iMac. It'll connect to it. You might have to put in a password or something. And you go to your Macintosh HD. And th it isn't the Macintosh hard drive on, on the Mac that you're putting the applications on. It's the Macintosh hard drive on the computer that has the applications. Or you could do this in the opposite way. You could go to the Mac that has the stuff on it and put it on the Mac that doesn't, or you could do it like this, either one. And then you go to Applications, and uh, some of these have the uh, the crosses or the, um, the, the cr yeah, I guess you'd call it a cross or X or whatever on them, because this is a PowerPC in my IMAX and Intel, so some of these aren't compatible. So let's say that I wanted... Office 2008. I would click it and drag it into my applications. Now I've already done this, so I'll show you what it'll look like. It'll take a while to get on to your Mac because it is most applications are pretty big files, but it'll come up just like as if you would have installed it with a, your own serial key, and it'll be there. Um, so it does work, and it's kind of dumb that they, that um, people that make the software haven't noticed this, but it is a way to put your applications on your other Mac if, um, if you're not, you don't even have to use a serial number or anything and it just already works which is pretty cool um, so this would also work maybe if your friend or something has an application that you want and it's it's like five hundred dollars and you don't want to go out and buy it you can do the same thing uh, this does work most of the time it works I have never had a problem with it I don't know if it will work with all of them I know it doesn't work with Apple software um, well, it actually it does work with Apple software. It it works with I did it with Pages and Keynote, and um, I did uh, a few iLife things, and I did ScreenFlow. I dragged the ScreenFlow from my iMac and put it on my iBook. Uh, Fate, that's a game. Um, Skype, I only did Skype because it, I didn't want to go and download it again. Um, so yeah, it it works really well, and it's a good way to do that. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, maybe it's not working or you need help, uh, please feel free to ask me. You can either send me a video response, comments, um, send me a private message, either one. Um, and I'll try to get back to your questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe.